Now let's look to the most important topic. It's important for statisticians, analysts, as well as data scientists. For that, how confidence interval is very important for data scientists. If you are not sure, that also I will explain. But confidence interval is very, 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 very important uh, for a data scientist to become or to make an accurate uh, model to make. A model which can perform well okay so let's begin uh, so far I think you might have seen frequency tables histograms box plots and standard errors are always to understand the potential error in a sample estimate so confidence intervals are another one that's it so the confidence interval exactly the confidence level first we'll see what is confidence level confidence level the percentage of confidence intervals constructed in the same way from the same population so that are expected to contain the statistic of interest i know it's not clear for you i will explain don't worry then interval endpoints just grasp the terminology for now we, what we have used, confidence interval, confidence level, now interval endpoints. The top and bottom of the confidence interval. Co uh, interval endpoints are nothing but the top and bottom of the confidence intervals. So there is a natural uh, human aversion to uncertainty. People, especially experts say, I don't know far too rarely analysts and managers while acknowledging the uncertainty nonetheless place undue fate in an estimate when it is presented as a single number a point estimate presenting an estimate not as a single number but as a range is one way to counteract that counteract this tendency confidence intervals do this in a manner grounded in statistical sampling principles so confidence intervals are a way to estimate a range of values that a true population parameter is likely to fall within based on a sample of data so imagine you are uh, trying to estimate the average height of all people in a country but it's not feasible to measure everyone's height. Instead, you take a random sample of people and measure their heights. So now the average height of this sample will likely be different from the true average height of the entire population. S or no? Obviously, yes. I'm repeating. The average height of this sample will likely be different from the true average height of the entire population. So to estimate the range of values that the true average height might fall within, you can calculate the confidence interval. That's what you see here on the screen. A 95% confidence interval, for example, means that if you repeat the sampling process many times and calculated a confidence interval for each sample, you would expect 95% of those intervals to contain the true population average. So, the confidence interval is typically calculated using the sample mean, simple a sample standard deviation, and the size of the sample along with formula that takes into the account of variability of the data and level of confidence desired. For example, if your sample of people, if your sample consists of 100 people has an average height of 1 centimeter. Let's take it, let's put it here. Here as 170 centimeters, 10 centimeters and a standard deviation of 5 centimeters 
So one standard deviation is 5 centimeters. You might calculate a 95. Then see here you will have exactly at the center it's 170 centimeter. Then one standard deviation, two standard deviation and uh, three standard deviation. So 175, one say 180 and 185. And here 165, 160 and 155. So this means that, uh, so then let's take a 95 percentage confidence interval. We might calculate a 95 percentage confidence interval of 165 centimeters to 175 centimeter. So this means that if you repeat, if you repeated the sampling process many times and calculated a confidence interval for each time, for each sample, you would expect a 95 percentage of those intervals to contain the true average height of all people in the country. I hope uh, you are getting my point. If not, I will repeat it again. Confidence intervals provide a way to estimate the uncertainty associated with a sample estimate and to assess uh, the precision of the estimate. They are useful for making inferences about a population based on a sample of data and comparing different groups or uh, treatments. So now, if you take this example, let's take, uh, we have done our sampling and we got the average of 300. Okay, let's take, this is our average. It's a 300 uh, seats that BJP is going to win in 2024 election. Okay, that's what. We have, that's what the uh, output we got from our exit polls. Then, this is our, uh, exactly the average is at the center. That's at 300 uh, seats for the BJP. Then, uh, we got the standard deviation. And uh, with the one standard deviation of 10. Then, with this here, exactly the mean is uh, 300 and and lower limit is 290 because we have gone for the 95 percentage confidence level. So you got 2.5 percentage outliers and 2.5 percentage outlier and upper level. So we have we have told now confidence levels or limits. So upper side is 310 and lower side is 290. Okay. So now when we say 95 percentage confidence interval or 95 percentage confidence we say that there are 95 percentage chance that polls results bjp seat count will fall between 290 and 310 let's take this is what the outcome of our exit polls and uh, uh, we we are in 2024 let's take let's imagine we are in 2024 then results were announced after announcing the results bjp got 304 seats that's what the true number of seats this is basically a proportion two number of true number of seats that got by the bjp is 304 and we were telling that we were 95 percent confidence that the bjp will get uh, uh, the the true number of seats that bjp will get would lie in between 290 and 310 we are 95 percent confidence that uh, the actual seats that will be gotten by BJP after announcing the results will lie between 290 and 310. So that's what is our confidence interval. And there are chances remaining 5 percentage it may miss. It's not that uh, it's it's not that uh, they'll damn sure they'll get it in between. No, it is uncertainty. There is an uncertainty. Sometimes it may get into the outliers. Either sometimes they, they may get 285. Sometimes they may get 320. Still, that goes up. That can that can happen. But the number of times that can happen is 5 percentage. The number of times it would fall in between confidence interval is 95 percentage. So that's what uh, we say 
the confidence interval is typically nothing but how many times for example if we repeat this experiment if we repeat this sampling process many times and calculate a confidence interval for each sample you would expect 95 percentage of those intervals to contain the a true or actual number of seeds that were that will get gotten that will be gotten by the bjp